Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, today I have Office 2013, actually 2016. I'm like way back into the uh, old. All right, so here it is. This is actually Office Preview 2016. And let me just show you what we're talking about. All right, so there it is, Office 15.8.0, which is really Office 2016. And the build is 15.0303, okay? So this is what it looks like. If you look at it, one of the things I loved so much about it is that it looks a lot like the one in Windows. So now it's not so confusing because let me go back to the old one. Let me just show you what the old one looked like. So here's how it starts. You saw how the other one starts. It's very similar, though it has a lot more themes. Um, we're going to go into the themes later on. But here it is. It's all grayed out. It's I don't know. It's it's just if you look at the all the menus up on top, you'll notice side by side that the menus were very cluttered and confusing. Um, even though you had the same layout, here's go. Let's go to layout. Okay. I don't know what it was. Maybe I'm used to the one from Windows, um, but it just seemed very different, very disorganized, very cluttered. Um, so I never really used it, to be honest with you, on the Mac. Um, I just had it there, you know, testing it out, and sometimes for compatibility compatibility issues that we had. All right, so let me show you. The one I was using was Pages. So Pages got a, a, an update recently, doing, uh, you know, able to do cloud. Um, so we're going to go to New Document, and again, you can see it also had a template. Um, pages, one of the things I give it credit for is this very beautiful templates, um, but uh, 2016 is really impressing me right now. Uh, the templates are very nice there too, and you can download a ton more, which I'm going to get to. All right, so you see you have all three of these um, different uh, word processors, you could say, right? Um, obviously, there's a lot other ones that you could buy, like uh, there's free ones like uh, OpenOffice, and there's the other free one that, uh, what is it called, LibreOffice. And there's even a Kingsoft office, but I think the Kingsoft is only for Windows and Linux, if I'm not mistaken. It might just be for Windows. All right, so here we have that. One of the things that Pages really, you know, confused me is that everything's on the side. I mean, it's nice because it's nice and open, nice and big, so you can see everything. So it made it easier for me to understand in the long run. But, you know, in a way, it, there's nothing on top. There's no menus um, it's just not something I'm used to, but it was very easy to kind of get a hang of. But now that I have Office that looks like old Office 2013 and a little bit improved, you could see that, um, you know, it just makes it easier for me to go back and use this. So it's more, not saying that one system is better than the other, but I kind of like it going back to the Windows. And so I'm, I like that Microsoft is trying to streamline everything. And it's putting it, uh, their software into Android phones, and they're getting themselves out there again. So that's that's good about Microsoft, and they're streamlining everything so it looks the same. I do wish it would have been a little bit bigger menus on top, just because I want them to kind of focus into going into touch menus. I mean, because I mean, eventually my Mac is going to have a touch screen, and I'm sure that there's going to be, um, you know, when I go online and I want to use this software, the 365. Uh, you know, I want to touch it with my hands on a tablet, and I can't, you know. So it would be nicer if they made a, a, a finger-friendly version of it in the future. But as of now, it just makes it very simple, very streamlined, very nice. And obviously, it supports all the cloud things that are, are coming out from Microsoft from the OneDrive. Same as you got with the Apple with the Pages, which is the new update where everything can be stored in the cloud, saved, and you can work from it from anywhere which is one of the advantages that you have. All right, so looking at all, of all three of these systems, uh, let me just go. I mean, I don't know if you want to see Excel, but if you look at it, I'm just going to open it for Pete's sake so you guys can check it out. I'm going to show you a little bit about the themes. But you can see that um, during Excel and uh, Word and PowerPoint, no matter what you go, it's very streamlined to, like, very similar to what you had in 2013, but now with the new updated, a little bit nicer graphical interface that um, Windows uh, 2016 is giving to you, 
but in Mac. So, I mean, it's really helping out people with Macs or who maybe used to use Word or whatever. Wow, this is taking long. I don't know what's going on. Remember, this is a preview, so there could be little slight bugs or whatever. Um, still loading. Let's close some things. See if... Whatever. All right, so here it comes. There we go. So look how nice these are. These, these. I mean, these are really a nice themes. I really like them. I mean, look, a cal uh, like the calendar, the annual fiscal report. I mean, these themes are very usable, very nice. Can make you look very professional really quick without having to do a lot of stuff. And I just had to do a few things. Like I had to do an invoice recently. Man, did it make my life really easy to use this this type of software, right? Um, the one thing I do miss is, you know, if I want to make a banner, you know, uh, or if I want to make, like, um, you, we used to have Publisher. And I know a lot of people are using Word as a publisher, but it's just not the same. It, it really isn't because, I mean, the size of a page is not like a banner if I want to make a long banner or something like that. So I do miss Publisher. But other than that, uh, I love the themes. And, uh, you know, if, if you need more themes, uh, there's an area... I don't remember how, but there was an area where I was able to just download a ton more if I needed them. Um, I think, I'm not sure. I was just in Word at the time, so let me try Word. New document. Let's look at those templates. Oops. From template. All right, so here we go. Look at the documents here. we got newsletter, brochures, flyers. And if we compare it to, let's say, the old version... Alright, so now we got this version. Let me unclutter this a little because major slowdowns, you know. Beta software usually tends to have that one thing that um, memory isn't really optimized. But that's okay, right? So we have this one. And where's the template for this one? Come on. All right, so we're going to put that down here. We're going to look for template on this one. All right, so here we go. Look at the difference. I mean, not only does it look a lot better, cleaner, more like Windows 8 kind of. Um, I totally like it. This is looks very disorganized, even though there's very good stuff in here. You know, look how small like the, the icons are versus here. They're, they're a lot larger. You can see them a little clearer. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely, uh, would say if you want to try the preview, it's really easy. You could just go, let's, uh, we could just Google it and we use Vivaldi, which is a brand new browser also. And we'll do a browser war pretty soon. So, well, you can just go to Google and say Office... Preview, and we will get the Office Mac Preview, and there it is. Okay, so it's due the second half of 2015, it says, but you can see it's really easy for you to download it. You just go here. You're going to fill out a few things. Obviously, if you've never filled out to get a beta, you're going to fill out a lot of forms, but once it's done and you're registered as a beta guy, the minute you put in your email, you won't have to do this ever again if you ever download, a, let's say, a preview. Um, but there you go. This is my quick review of uh, Office programs. I hope this helped you out a little. I just wanted to show you the differences because I'm not really a, you could say I'm a typer. But I can tell you that uh, I just wanted to show you what each one looked like. So in case you were debating which one to download, which one to use, or even if you wanted to try it, um, here's all the options, especially with the preview that you get it for free. I, I mean, I would totally take that. You know, not only are you helping to make it better, you get to try out all the latest features, and people will be like, "Wow, well, what are you using when you when you're typing up there?" Right. So, please like and subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye.